I have managers who play Premier League like our our manager. Bonjour, guten Tag. What's up, bruv? <laughs> no time to waste the time now is 9 50 and i just woke up and how do i feel after my match yesterday i don't feel so at all even that i just played 20 minutes because i used to feel very sore even that i just played 20 minutes before but i think in my opinion since my diet changed uh i don't feel sore at all so that's why i'm feeling good I'm about to go to the gym because I'm doing some work. That's what I always do because after matches, the best recovery is to do something, to either have a light jog or on a bicycle, to go to the gym 30 minutes, be on a bicycle, have a light jog. And that's what I'm about to do, strengthen my core. But before that, we're gonna have the right breakfast. So I'm looking forward to my breakfast. So let's see what we got. So for my breakfast, I simply use porridge with this amazing superfood breakfast boost. It's like simply seeds, chia seeds, hemp seeds, goji's, um, honey, even that is not vegan proper, but, and banana. At least the sun is shining because it's so cold. Oh my days, this cold, rough. England, England, England. It is just so cold. But I'm on my way to the gym. So we're gonna have a good 30 minute session where we just be on the bike, do some core workout. And I think many, many people, what they do after mattress is just to relax, just to literally do nothing like enjoy their day but i think that's very important to be active because active recovery is simply the best and oh i just love the sun mm. you better love the sun oh my days and also what i figured out is you don't really need a car if you have a bicycle it's the best way to get from a to b and also i think even now i'm doing some recovery so what i could do is just simply ride a bike somewhere just simply cycle for 30 minutes and my recovery would be done but now let's go to the gym back in the gym starting off with the first five minutes warm-up after that a 30 minutes of a 12 kilometers per hour run because I just played 20 minutes, so I still need to work on my stamina. And after that, we've done a simple core workout and core is just so important to me because if you work on your core, you're gonna see improvements when you play because so many people just don't understand and think, why does core um, help you by playing football? Because obviously you use your feet, but it helps you so much. If, if someone tries to push you away, if you have a strong core, like you're gonna be stable, you're gonna be strong as well. So always make sure you work on your core.
situation that you're in now and be able to say it's gonna it's gonna turn around it's gonna be okay you're gonna get through you're gonna get through through this hopelessness is when you look at the situation you're in and go it's impossible it's impossible for anything to be any different to what it currently is yet Jesus somehow puts hope in our hearts this way so you'll get through this you'll get through it and there is a better tomorrow. You know, I, I, I go as far as saying, you know, some, some of you young people, you, know, you can go, well, what does young mean? Decide for yourself, right? <laughs> but you know the pressure. What am I going to do with my life? Where am I going to be? Where am I going to go? Should I do this? Shouldn't I do that? Can I say this? Just enjoy discovering it. Don't get caught up in I've got to have it all nailed by the time I'm 18. Because whatever you've got nailed by the time you're 18, I promise you, you won't be doing it when you're 58. While I was in the gym, I was really thinking that, look, Brendan, you really want to improve. You want to become a better player. And our training that we have nearly every day, of course, I feel like I became a better player. I am, first of all, I'm sharper, I'm more agile. My agility is better and just like in general, my play became better because I have managers who play Premier League. I mean, our manager that signed me, he actually played in the Premier League and he managed as well a championship team. So you will learn something from a manager who played that sort of level. And our manager told me so, so many things that... I was really thinking, oh, that's that's actually true. Like, I need to implement that to my game. But I'm really looking for a one-on-one -on -one coach, Jonah one-on-one -on -one style, because when I see Jonah one-on-one -on -one training sessions, they are just crazy. And I'm really looking for someone like a coach or to just have those one-on-one -on -one sessions. Because, I mean, if I have my training that I do, and we do loads of like finishing and those kind of things, but I would love to do some extras. And I think, like if you guys know anyone, Birmingham area, like one-on-one -on -one coaches, just let me know, write me a message on Instagram, because I would love to, to, to do one, really, because I want to improve, I want to become better, but it was a good day. And even on those recovery days where you don't really do something, but you do something. Because as I said, active recovery means you need to do something. Like nothing special really happened, but I feel good. I'm fit. And it's just so nice to, to know that, Brendan, you're actually fit. But anyway, it's been a long day and we're going straight into bed. And just to be ready for tomorrow's day because after tomorrow we're gonna to have a match that is important as well. So yeah, let's do this, let's do this. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed watching today's video. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. Smash that like button, guys. Keep in mind, when you believe, everything is mm, possible. So Team Randall, mm, I'll see you tomorrow.